So, content creator, influencer, Tammy Hembro, YouTuber, I'm not sure what else she does, is still throwing shade at Kylie Jenner, guys, and is not pleased. And we got Kanye West versus Soldier Boy. A lot is happening, guys, on this Sunday. Hey, guys, it's Marab Marabi. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video, guys. Subscribe, click that button. It is daily and consistent content, merch, and everything in the bio below. And let's get into this video. I've just come out from the gym. Great shoulder sit, you know, session. My shoulders are sitting, guys. That's why I've got. Let me just get into the video. Sorry. Um, anyways, Temi Hambro is throwing some sh major shade. She's really upset initially with the fact that Kylie stole her baby's name, um, and you know, is getting the name of Wolf. I think they were friends or something. To be honest with you, I don't know, and I really don't care. But you know. Temi, um, somebody commented on her TikTok saying, I just know you are naming your baby Bentley. I assume she's having another baby. Again, I don't follow Tammy or Kylie like that. So I'm not really aware of, you know, their stages of motherhood. Um, but she responds to say, actually, I'm liking the name Stormy at the moment. So clearly she's quite upset with the fact that Kylie stole the name Wolf and throwing shade and said, you know what, I'm going to steal one back and call my child Stormy as well. Now, I'm not a Kylie Jenner defender, but I'm on a defender in this particular scenario because I don't think it's that serious. Kylie wasn't the first person to call her baby Wolf and she won't be the last. I think it's a very common name when we actually think about it. And I don't know why this girl is so butthurt. I don't know if they were friends before and she got dumped in the friendship, but she's throwing major shade at Kylie. Doesn't make any sense. It's giving embarrassing, it's giving confusion, it's giving sit down, relax, and just drink some water and hydrate yourself. Because I, I don't understand why you're fighting over baby names. Why are we doing this for? Why are we fighting over baby names? Unless you told her that you're gonna name your baby Wolf, Wolf, and then you did so and then she copied but it's also like your bet your current child called wolf is you know not a, a newborn so i'm very confused as to why they're even upset about this like we've got people who are literally fighting for their lives in places like india muslim girls i spoke about this before who've got headscarves you know and they grown grown adult men don't like these young girls wearing headscarves and going up to them and physically taking it off them and everything. There is now posters that they're spreading in India, political parties also of you know, Muslims being lynched and hanged from stuff like that. You know, disgusting stuff where, you know, girls are literally fighting for their lives and you know they're literally protesting against these grown men because they want to wear the hijab because the misogyny is disgusting and again controlling what what, what women wear scenarios like that going on in the world guys you have in crazy scenarios like that we've got storms going on in the uk and there's homeless people on these damn streets you let alone living in bad social housing like the problems are endless and we've got these two girls living in their you know beautiful mansions throwing shade at each other or you know this girl throwing shade at kylie for somebody taking her net her baby's name when really and truly it's not that serious why do you care and why are you still going on about stuff like this you know it's just, it's, it's so bizarre. It's, it's so weird that you're wasting your time doing stuff like this when you could actually be using your time, I don't know, to raise awareness for some kind of cause. I'm pretty sure they are or they're not. But I just feel like when we discuss petty things like this and we see a lot of stuff online about, you know, so many Palestinians being robbed from their homes and, you know, just the constant invasion that is going on and the settlements, the illegal settlements, as Israel said themselves, they don't want to work with... Um, they, they they don't wish to work with the United Nations or with the probing and you know a country can't refuse to do that but it's insane anyways but then we have these girls rich influencer girls who are running around screaming about names and throwing shade it's like give it a rest it's not that serious shut up focus on your life and focus on more important things than dumb stuff like this because it's not that serious I'm so sorry but sometimes when I report on minor petty stuff like this particular stuff it really irks me because it's like there's so much crazy stuff that we see in the world that I don't think we're meant to see. Social media has really, I'm going to just rant now because, um, yeah. Social media has really put us in a position where we're constantly looking at torture and suppression all over the world via Twitter, via Insta, TikTok, all the stuff. The pro is it does gain a lot of awareness which can bring social justice and then justice to you know, real lives. And that is very impactful and amazing. But the con is that we're seeing so much suffering in the world where we become desensitized to it and it's sad to see. So sad to see. Treacherous to see treacherous treacherous life this dunya treacherous life to see that you know where we constantly see suffering and then it's also then you feel bad because you don't speak up enough about it but then you also are vocal about it but then you feel like being vocal about it doesn't really do anything doesn't help as many people as you think it does and then you just you still see the suffering and it doesn't stop and you know the suffering's constantly going on somewhere in the world 
long before even social media came about but like the, you feel helpless and then you just feel sad and depressed but then it's also like you're in a better position than people who are literally going through war it's insane like i don't know it's just a cycle of and then we've got Ukraine versus Russia, and I don't know what the hell is going on there, guys. So I know you guys just came for the Tammy and Kylie T, and not me giving you social awareness <laughs> on stuff that is going on in the world, but sometimes like, I just can't help it, and I feel like I need to just talk about it, and it was just on my mind. So unedited, it's just there. And that's why, you know, I guess you lot like watching sometimes, because I just be talking about stuff um, randomly. But anyways, Tammy is throwing shade. Uh, I just hate it when girls or boys argue over very petty stuff it's so dumb and it's more so this particular Tammy girl more than Kylie but it's just like get a grip man who cares anyway Soldier Boy and Kanye West are going at it Soldier Boy was of course you know taking the mick out of Kanye lest we forget a while ago Soldier Boy was angry with Kanye because he got taken off the album without his knowledge um, apparently they solved it or sorted out the issue whatever but apparently that isn't also true because it does look like that you know um Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Soldier Boy uh, was blasting him again on his Instagram saying, how have you lost your girl to Pete? What are you doing? And stuff like, stuff like this. And I feel like these misogynistic conversations of how did you lose, lose your girls if your girl is yours and you own them, when really and truly you don't own anybody. And Soldier Boy is the last person to be talking about how do you keep a woman or not when he's been very abusive to his ex who was on Love and Hip Hop when she was pregnant. So let's not even go down that, that, that That's a very slippery slope. Of course, Kanye has responded um, and has said... Uh, in a screenshot, this is yay, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. And he said, no, what are you gonna do about it? I can do whatever I want. I can keep on doing it. And of course, he's continuing to throw shade. I feel like Soldier Boy is just teasing Kanye at this West, waiting to egg him on because he's still hurt and it stings him that he was kept out of that album because, you know, he was somebody who wanted to be on that album. Soldier Boy is very much a social trend setter. Uh, back in the day, he obviously was driving that stuff, but I think him calling out Kanye West for stuff like this is pointless, doesn't do anything. I and mean, maybe he's just trying to, annoy him because you know Kanye evidently got under his um skin a while ago and he's doing the same thing to him anyways let me know your thoughts are guys Kanye West is in the news a lot man a lot this man is in the news a lot there's so much going on I don't think he's gonna stop anytime soon I feel like this is just how he's gonna be so we're just gonna be expecting a lot of stuff like this the man is uncontrollable the Kardashians can't get a grip on him nobody can get a grip on him and he can do whatever the hell he wants and he won't be satisfied until they get back together again with him and Kim. And that is never going to happen. Kim is Kim is Kim would never get back with him at this point. It would never happen. So I expect stuff like this to continue and to happen like just constantly. I can just see it. Anyways, let me know your thoughts are guys. If you have not subscribed, what are you doing? Click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Shout out to Palestine, free Palestine. Free the Muslim girls that are under Islamophobia when it comes to, you know, India. Free the, you know, the the Guys, the, the boys and the girls under rife homophobia in Islamic countries, because I've been reading up on it, guys, and it's just sad to know what people go through. Discrimination is just sad on all hearts. I don't know why people can't just accept anyone for who they are. It's not every day, man. I don't know why I'm talking so much. I'm just ranting. Let me just finish this video and collect myself. Uh, let me shower because I need to shower after the gym. Hopefully you guys do it as well. Subscribe and click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.